Alright boys and girls, Jody Slay here. You're probably wondering what happened to the live comment this for us playthrough. Well, my dumbass kind of, I don't know really what happened, but I'm going to blame it on my dumbass. Uh, I, you know, I went to put it in Vegas and the final half of my voice was not there. This is actually our second attempt at doing this little triple com deal we're doing right now. And, uh, you know, the first one had like a weird lag to it. But, you know, I got the two guys that's from this game, Yeah, My Mother and TF2 Maniac. You guys can go say hi. And if you've got a YouTube channel, you know, throw that out there. All right, what's up, guys? My name is Maniac. Check me out at TF2 Maniac slash or <laughs> TF2 Maniac um, YouTube channel. FTW will probably be in the description. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, my name is Breezy, or, or yeah, my mother. Um, it's YouTube.com slash yeah, my mother. Check me out. <clears throat> yeah, both of these guys' links will be in the description. Black Barney, sorry, you're not in this, bud. Didn't know how to get a hold of you. Um, I could have left you a message on your, uh, you know, your gamer tag, but you told me once before you had a YouTube channel, but wasn't really interested in it. So I just didn't, you know, I didn't include you. I'm sorry if you, uh, you know, whatever. But how about that new map pack? <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm such a noob. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Shangri La is like the one thing I'm looking forward to. That map looks. So yeah, am sexy. I? Am I the only one that thought that was Dead Ops Arcade? Like in first person view, yeah, it could be. I mean, it's got that's some that's stuff exactly early. what I was thinking because the island sort of thing that's kind of in Dead Ops yeah. Arcade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, it's it's got some similarities to it, and uh, you know, it definitely looks like the best map pack to date. Like I don't know, it feels weird talking all this because we just did this yesterday <laughs> or the day before, but you know, we got to do it. Um, you know. Those monkeys that come out and steal your perks or the drops or whatever, that definitely looks like it's going to be interesting, something we've never seen before. Um, I don't know if they're coming out to steal, you know, the drop once it's there, or I don't know if they'll just randomly run out with, a, you know, a drop and you've got to kill them at the right time to get it. But, you know, if they drop those max ammos and you can time it right to get a max ammo, that could be a pretty uh, awesome deal. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I hope I hope it's when you kill them, and they, it, I hope that's how you can get drops because if they come like all the time, then like in the later rounds and the higher rounds, you could start, keep getting max ammo or whatever you need, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't. That's the thing. We're gonna have to wait and see. We don't know. Like a lot of people think that once you know a zombie drops, a, you know, there's a drop that the monkey may actually run out and steal it where you can't get it, and then it, you know. Or maybe they just randomly run out. I don't know, but it it could hurt you and you know kind of save you at times. It just depends on how it's going to work out. Yeah, I wonder if they will if they drop it if they come out and try to steal it before you get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I seen a, I I remember a game where something. I don't know if it was Dead Ops Arcade, but I remember some kind of game where like something ran out to steal shit. And really? I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what it was. I played a lot of games, so I'm kind of. Yeah. But, I'm a dead ups noob so much. I think I played it like literally once or twice. Yeah, yeah it's I, probably not that interesting. I've played it. I've gotten up to like round 26 on that, and it's just it's not good in my opinion. Yeah, I don't even know what how high I've been on it, but it gets a lot harder once you get in those later rounds, man. These these big ass fat zombies with clubs mm -hmm. come after you, and they're like just chilling. You know, walking, <laughs> and if you get close to them, dude, they charge, and it's a biatch. But you know. Yeah. whatever you know it's kind of interesting though that treyarch would uh integrate both well if they did integrate both uh regular nazi zombies and uh that ops arcade i think it's kind of a good idea yeah that's pretty cool have you ever played uh zombie apocalypse <laughs> no yeah i played that i remember it coming out it's kind of, it's just basically a newer version of i made a game with zombies in it yeah well i mean it's similar to dead ops arcade as well they're both yeah. like uh you know however you want to say it elevated camera looking down on players uh, and i like zombie eye view yeah i think the the all-time greatest zombie game ever was uh zombies ate my neighbors do you ever play that i've never I heard of it that. oh I've, my god i've heard of it on angry video game nerd remember you used to post up videos i think uh i think it was on N n64 or super N i think it's n64 but maybe super nintendo probably um, super nintendo yeah it's it's the greatest thing i've ever played if anyone's played it Feel free to comment because that thing is. I still play that. That's hilarious. That game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Let's talk about the multiplayer maps. The Hangar 18 map with the SR-71, how it's going to be like Area 51. I was thinking about this last night, how that could turn into like the final zombie map after Shangri-La. I possibly could. Yeah. Um, They've been talking about Area 51 for years. Yeah, I could, you know, I yeah. don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. I definitely look, I'm looking forward to that map that's made out of the golf course or whatever. I think that looks the Cliff best. Cliffside remake, that, that one's going to be great. I know it is. Cliffside's yeah. one of my favorite maps. Yeah, hopefully Treyarch could remake maps better than Infinity Ward does because they ruined Garantan from Call of Duty 2 into whatever it was, Chinatown for Call yeah. of Duty 4. It's the same exact map, but I literally hated it. I don't know why. Yeah. So Chinatown did suck. It was so dark and gloomy, and, like, Carentan was so, like, happy and deadly, you know? Just yeah. like Yodi's videos, cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. sorry if you can hear those doors slamming. My little boys just came inside, and I didn't realize I was doing this, but it's all good. You guys yeah. want to say hi? Hurry up and say hi. 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 They both, they, they both got mohawk. Yeah, you can play. They both got mohawks. They look pretty beast right now. <laughs> Pretty badass. Yeah, they look pretty badass. I'm sure they were dominating the playground just a minute ago. They went over there with their grandma. Dustin told me he came in here earlier. He goes, if somebody comes and tries to steal my scooter when I'm over there, I'm just going to run up to him and I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> he's going to monkey punch him. Yeah, he's going to monkey punch him. But, you know, I'm definitely excited about this map pack. I was definitely excited about this playthrough. I thought it was a pretty epic playthrough. Round 24 is pretty beast, really, because this is a hard map. Actually, one of the hardest out of all the zombie maps, in my opinion. It is. Yeah. Definitely. I would definitely say this, and, and Nocter Toten, or Darren Toten, whatever it is, uh, is probably one and two for the hardest maps. Yeah. We, but Call uh, of the Dead is, is just as hard in the way, not, not going levels-wise, like getting high high scores, but... Just like yeah. the, like the darkness and the and the fog and how George is always there. Yeah, um, dude, the fog really is annoying. Like it's oh yeah, I could see why they added it, but I don't know why they had to, dude. It's just annoying. Yeah. I think and they then fucking George yelling all the time, dude. I can't stand hearing that cock smoker. Oh my god. <laughs> my uh, I don't know if I said this, but on um, on the Baruch gameplay, but uh, my first attempt at Call of the Dead lasted forty nine seconds. Because I shot, I shot George, and he trapped me in a corner, and then just downed me. It was hilarious, but yeah. it was such a sad attempt. Yeah, me and a couple of my buddies, we stayed up. We got up at like 3 or 4 in the morning and waited because we wanted to be like some of the first to have the game play out. Yeah. Unfortunately, we waited from like 3 or 4 till 9 in the morning before we ever got it. But when we first started, you know... Everybody leading up into the trailer thought George was just like a boss, and then he, you know, he came came at round one. We were like, "What the fuck, dude?" So we got pissed. So we're like, "Dude, let's kill this motherfucker!" Yeah. Oh shit! Don't shoot him again, dude. We didn't know what was gonna happen, but you know, very quickly we learned not to not to fuck with him. Yeah, that early on, anyway. He's a badass dude. Yeah, he is. But you know, th in the trailer for the new map, you know, they got that fire zombie. I'm wondering if that's gonna be similar to George. You know, where I know. He, they catch you on fire, not necessarily as hard to kill or whatever, but you know how George shocks you or whatever. I wonder yeah. if there's going to be some kind of uh, fire deal with that dude. Yeah, you might need to like run into. I didn't see. Did you guys see any water on the map? Uh, yeah, I saw the waterfall. Yeah, yeah there's. Maybe, maybe you have to run into the water if he hits you or something. Like yeah, that. you definitely you can definitely get into the water because if you uh, pay attention, there's like if on the scene where it shows the, uh, the waterfall. There's a little bitty island, and then you can see a switch to a like a trap. So you yeah, it's probably a trap where like the bunch of um, water just pours down on the zombies or something, washes them away. That's what oh, I was yeah, thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it def it looks epic, and I gotta say the colors are you know look a lot better than what we're used to in Triarch. Triarch has the thing where they got like these dull ass gray brown colors. And for once, it looks like there's actually some decent color. Well, I don't, I, I mean, it could be the color corrections the dude did to the video, but, you know, it definitely looks like it's going to be a vibrant map compared to what we're used to, and I kind of like that. And the yes. sun's out. The sun's out. <laughs> I said this last time. Nobody can bitch anymore that my color corrections are too dark because hopefully on this one, it's going to be light. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. And especially with the, like, World at War maps are just, dark, like, so dark in general. That, like, it, it's going to look dark on YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like the especially. thing, though. Like, the majority of the zombie maps are so dark that it's really hard to get, like, 
you know, a mix between the light and the dark correct. So, I mean, it's just a dark map, you know. I can't – some places you just can't help it. Yeah, like on Nocturne Toten in that in that side help room, you know, like right in that, that like little 10-foot area, it's just pitch black. You can't yeah. even see your gun. Yeah, after uh, – I got all those 13 parts for the Darius Labcom render now, and I'm going to start with the Noct after we get this done. And uh, we stayed in that help room, me, Barbarian – Maniac, was you there? No, I wasn't. I was going to, but I couldn't. No, oh, it was just two. It was me, Barbarian, and two subs, and we made it to like 21 ish, I think. And uh, it was pretty good. So I'm kind of hoping that that's not going to be too dark because we actually stayed in that room the entire time, but we'll see. Oh, you stayed downstairs? Yeah, we stayed downstairs the entire time. I think oh. we started to hold off upstairs. No, because we, we left the help door shut. So yeah, we went, we went up the stairs, left the help room door shut. And then down into where the box is, and we stayed in that room. Three guys on the stairs, and this one dude—I don't remember what his name was. Uh, he was holding down the three window or the two windows in the w- hole in the wall like a champ, dude. Like he didn't ever get like no zombies ever came from the behind us until the very end. But it just started getting overwhelming. That's awesome. This yeah, awesome. for the Baruch gameplay though, uh, I kept saying don't open the door to go in the back uh, in- into that kitchen. But yeah. like like an idiot, if we did that. It would have been not that like what we did was bad, but a bad a bad choice. But um, if we backed into that lat into that back room, it would have been so much easier because they only go to that window and then the uh, little overlap where they come through the power room door. Yeah, we could try that one of these days to go. You know, just go in there and try to hold that down. I was happy with what we got though, man. It was fast yeah. paced, and I think people enjoyed it for the most part. Oh, definitely, yeah, because. Uh, me and Maniac were just were just doing messing around in there, and he had more kills than I did at the window. You know. Oh my God! Uh, eight eight zombies at that one window before he even saw one zombie. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. It was pretty ridiculous. I love. Took me a though. whole HK. It took me a whole HK clip just to try to get them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what what do you guys think? I mean, I hate to kind of be like that person that brings us up, but what do you think about the death of Ryan Dunn this morning? Oh man, that that was like that was actually hard because I saw that you posted it on Twitter and I'm just like, wow, he's probably joking. I I go on my Facebook, everyone says rest in peace, Ryan Dunn. Ryan Dunn will miss you. He was like the only guy from Jackass that um actually did like a lot of the funny stuff, like the big funny stuff, like in Jackass One, where he shows a toy car up his butt. <laughs> it was yeah. just wow. I- that was, uh, I don't know if that was funny or just fucked up, but it, it made both. me laugh, but... That was both. <laughs> Jackass always makes you ask that question, whether it was funny or just super yeah. fucked up. But it's like definitely it, crazy, yeah. man. I, he died in a uh, car crash, correct? Yeah, he was driving a 2007 Porsche 911 and his home state of Pennsylvania, and, you know, I don't know, I don't know if Apparently he tried to get off the Georgia. highway, I don't know if he tried to get off the highway or what, but... There's videos of him on YouTube driving some Lambos, like 200 miles an hour, getting pulled over by the cops. So, I mean, if anybody had it coming, he did. For And, you know, at midnight last night, he posted that picture of him and two other buddies drinking. So, oh, assumingly, really? Yeah, assumingly he was drunk, you know. So, I mean, it's a shame, though, to see anybody go out. He just started the deal with Jessica Showbot on G4 TV where they're going to do the uh, proving grounds, like try to make – uh, bring video games to real life, and it's a shame. But I also seen a thing. Don't know, how, you know, how true it is. It'd be really sick if it's true. But um, from what I seen in one post, and it looked kind of legit, kind of photoshopped, that he's actually doing this to get a reaction for the next Jackass movie. So you know, wow. I'm assuming that he's dead. I don't see how anybody'd want to do that. But once I seen that, it's kind of like, man, I wonder if he is. I just wish I could get some kind of confirmation if he is or isn't, you know? Yeah, the conspiracy theorists are going yeah. nuts right now. Yeah. But he was definitely cool, man. Like, you know, he did a lot other than just, you know, Johnny Knoxville, he's moved moved on to do some movies. Uh, Ryan Dunn had a movie with Jessica Simpson as well. I don't remember the name of it, but it just uh, never hit the theaters, never was like a big, you know, show, but it went straight to DVD, recording to DVD. And, you know, it's just sad if he was only 34 years old, so. I know. That's why you got uh, to gotta get a sober driver, you know. If he yeah. if he was presumably drunk, uh, drinking and driving is definitely not the way to go. 
Yeah, definitely in a Porsche 911. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because you have like you can't not speed in that. You know, you have to. Yeah, so. I seen it. I seen a video of the crash scene, and uh, like there were skid marks on the road, dude, for probably 150, 200 yards. Like it, he was he, must, he, he was he must flying. flying. Yeah. And the car, if you've seen pictures of the car, dude. It, it's totaled. It the, is yeah. wrecked. You can't, there, you don't even, there's no motor. It just looks like, okay, It picture, looks like scrap metal. Yeah, picture like aluminum foil off the grill that's all charcoaled and then just crumpled up. That's about wow. what the car looked like. It, you could not tell it was a car. If somebody was like, dude, that was the car, I'd be like, yeah, we're fucking right. But... <laughs> Yeah, at, at first I thought we were talking about like the baseball player Ryan Dunn. Oh yeah. For so I looked heart, on ESPN and then I had to go. Reds for the Reds. Yeah, I looked on ESPN and I was like, "What the hell is he talking about?" You know, but yeah, that's sad. Uh, 